So when you go to work in different parts of the world, you might get shocked at how different the culture is, especially in the workplace. I've experienced that. We've got advice and stories from Bashali, who's worked in three different countries around the world. She's going to share with you guys the pros and cons and help guide you in your abroad journeys. Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob. We love helping guide people, international students and professionals to success in their cross-cultural journeys, especially working abroad as an expat. There's all sorts of different kind of work opportunities and work visas around the world. And Vishali, she's worked in places like India, New Zealand, and America. We're going to break down these countries, different cultural pros and cons, to help you figure out what you should do in your abroad journey. Vishali, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, hello, everyone. First of all, thank you, Rob for this opportunity and sharing the other side of me, like, you know, a work experience uh, within different countries and how it was. So thank you so much first, and really, very really happy to share my experiences on that part. Uh, so yeah, I'm, my name is Vaishali and I work as a functional or the technical consultant in a global financial institute specifically in the emerging space, uh, emerging technology space, which is data management, advanced analytics, machine learning, AI, and blockchain. And uh, really looking forward to share my experiences on the countryside. Do you want to also share um, where you're from and where you studied? Yeah, so I uh, actually, I'm from India, and uh, most of my lifespan, like, you know, early education, undergrad, everything I, I did in India. After that, I moved to United States for my master's degree and pursued my master's in computer engineering. And now I work here. Fantastic. And Vishali, what kind of took you to work in each of these different countries? As I mentioned that, you know, uh, after my undergrad back in India, uh, I started working uh, or started my career in information technology in 2008. Started working for Infosys as a software engineer, one of the leading industries in India. I was knowing along the journey, you know, I would get an opportunity to travel abroad. And that was one of my interests too, that, you know, I wanted to travel through work. Yeah, so the first opportunity that I received was New Zealand. And I worked for the client Westpac Bank there. And it was a great learning experiences. And I will share it along the line uh, through this episode. And after that, uh, after acquiring certain years of work experience, I decided to pursue my master's and uh, travel to United States and now working here. So Vishali, let's start with New Zealand. What were the work cultural pros and positives that you experienced there? I wasn't there for a very long period of time. It was like a close to one year I was in New Zealand. But uh, if I think about the pros, uh, I think... Uh, it was very disciplined and adaptive, you know. I remember when I was there working for Plant Westpac Bank, they adapted agile, agile way of working in 2013. So I got like a proper training and uh, experience delivering agile projects and how to handle the long hour sprint planning meetings, like eight hours or something like that. So I never did that when I was in India, but I think... That was a completely different experience for me that how people are very disciplined and productive. So yeah, that was the pros actually associated with that work culture. Any cons or challenges you faced working there in New Zealand? I think every country comes with the pros and cons. So if I were to think about the cons, um, it's not the cons actually uh, for some people, but for me, uh, I think uh, I saw a very much like, you know, people running around, alongside like you know al along with the clock so it was too much like a time management so I remember one of my client manager uh, who used to sit uh, with us actually he never used to take breaks uh, not even the lunch break so for mm -hmm. me being new um, and being in India I used to have that lunch break kind of thing so it was little hesitating like you know taking 30 minutes of that lunch break and but I yeah still I used to do that but that's something I felt like, you know, uh, people don't take uh, any breaks and then they mm. just walk for that limited period of time. And uh, they don't try to extend their working hours as well. And they just stick to the time and then, you know, mm. so that is something that was like, you know, uh, for me being first time abroad was a completely different experience. Yeah. 
So it sounds like New Zealand, they work very hard. And it's very strict, you know, with the schedules and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they start early, actually, the way I work for Westpac Bank, right? So they used to come to the office 7 a.m. in the morning and 4 p.m. they're done. So that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. I think they are ahead also in the time zones perspective. Mm -hmm. um, the India so yeah so but that way it was a little bit managing as well uh, compared to when I think about USA and uh, India time zones mm -hmm. uh, New Zealand and India was a little bit better in that way mm. you know working onshore offshore yeah yeah that's great now let's talk about India what were some of the the pros and the highlights of kind of the work culture there in India for you as I started career in IT in India actually so I work only in IT when I was in India so mm -hmm. I will tell like advantages associated only with that industry type. So you have great campuses, ambiences, great food, a um, lot of cultural activities actually. One thing uh, as a pros I would say is it's very easy to make friends at workplace in India. So people don't, uh, sometimes it is trouble, but uh, people don't segregate like, you know, too much on the personal and the professional side. So if you want to make friends uh, at your workplace, it's very easy culture that mm -hmm. way to make friends. Yeah, so that especially, is- Especially especially yeah. during the chai breaks at, at work, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's very easy to like, you know, uh, go plan the outings or um, like, you know, after hours or something with your colleagues. Um, so mm. it's not that difficult, but some, some ways it has a disadvantage as well, but uh, it is one of the advantage as well so that you never feel like, you know, too much like a workaholic person, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Relationships are more deeper yeah. and personal. Definitely. I, I'd agree with that. What about with the work culture in India? Any cons or challenges that you faced? Some way it is advantage, but up to a certain level only. Uh, I think it is very competitive. If you are expecting to grow, it's always that there are so many people with the same skill set. So you have to always like, you know, keep yourself up to date, like so much competitive actually. So when it mm -hmm. comes to getting opportunities abroad or when it comes to getting promotions, it is too competitive and uh, it is a lot more on not only working uh, with your specific task, but it is more about creating your own visibility to the higher management or within department. So I think that is kind of a con sometimes. Mm -hmm. Every person is that social, right? So um, sometimes you have to expand your that horizon and learn how you want to be a little more people person as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. so it's still competitive actually. It's very competitive. <laughs> yes, yeah. The competition for jobs in India is crazy and yeah, crazy. you definitely have to yeah, perform and, like, and, and yeah. fight for those spots. Yeah, so it's like if you know there are 100 people to do the same job. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they don't care, like, you know. So that is the thing. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure, definitely. Well, you guys, if you're learning stuff like me and really liking this video, give a like and thumbs up to say thanks to Vashali uh, for sharing her experiences. We're gonna cover America in just a second. But our chai question for you guys is, which country do you wanna work in? Uh, you know, in this video, we're talking about America, India, New Zealand, but maybe there's another country. Let us know in the comments, share which country that you hope to work in or kind of build your career in. This video is brought to you by the Career Success Journey, Chai and Coaching's new online course. This course is geared towards teaching you everything you need to know to land a desired job here in America. International students face many extra obstacles in their job search. We're gonna address those issues and empower you with the knowledge and skills needed to overcome job search challenges. Learn about LinkedIn, networking, the US job market, interview prep, and much more. We've seen the results of students getting amazing jobs, even impossible dream jobs, which shows this content really works. Join our live eight week spring 2022 cohort starting on February 6th. For more information and registration, go to careersuccessjourney.chiangcoaching.com. Don't forget to invite your friends too. Cheers. Vishali, now let's move to America. What are some of the you know pros or highlights you've experienced working in America so far? So my experience is like, you know, working in America so because I pursued a master's here and then moved to um, that part of like, you know, getting professional experience. So I wasn't like contract employee, I was like a full-time employee. So there is a difference between that as well. Mm -hmm. So in you know, New Zealand, I was a contract employee. So I was working for the Indian organization, but just being at the client 
space. But in America, I'm like a full-time employee uh, for that particular industry. So um, I think uh, I don't have like a very large experience, but whatever close to three years I'm here uh, working for an industry or two years I did master. So five years being in America, I think uh, I just see it a lot more like a sorted work culture. So, but again, it depends actually on your job role and industry that you are in and uh, little hard for immigrants due to visa processing or troubles, but I think it is a great opportunity to work with diverse people. So if you are a person who likes to, you know, uh, brainstorm and uh, you can have the interesting brainstormings or exchange of ideas or opinions. Mm -hmm. So that kind of advantage. So I feel uh, that way you grow on that aspect as well. So I think that is a great advantage in the American work culture that it's a lot more sorted as well, I feel as of now. But yeah, and you have to explore a lot more. That's great. Now, what about any cons or challenges that you've kind of faced working, you know, professionally here in the States? Sometimes, uh, whatever my experience so far, being very diverse, like, you know, you interact with uh, different cultures or different country people or the nationalities. Uh, sometimes that can be a cause of a problem as English is not the first language for everyone. So mm -hmm. some words or the phrases you might use it and mean something to you, but it can mean something different to the other person. So you always need to be careful actually while using those, like, you know, during those conversations and make sure that you convey the right message out of it to that person on the other side. So mm -hmm. I see that way it is a little bit of cons, like it's more about learning other person as well, because um, if you're working with diverse cultures, it's very important that you respect that side as well. Yeah, cross-cultural communication is so important. And even though you might be really good at English, maybe the way you speak English in your home country and your own culture is different in America. Yeah, and so yeah. I know like Indian English is very different than American English and there can be misunderstandings. And I've, I've faced that myself going both directions. <laughs> um, but it's a great thing to learn and practice. And thankfully people want to help out. And, you know, they're very graceful with that, you know, which I've experienced. But overall, Vishali, do you have a, a favorite? You know, you've been in New Zealand, India, America. Do you have a favorite? Is there one that stands out to you? <laughs> uh, I think it is a very difficult question to choose between the mm -hmm. three countries. But I think I'm going to reiterate a couple of things which I already spoke as like, you know, I like to work uh, in different cultures, like, you know, diverse with the diverse people. So I'm looking forward to work in many more countries, actually, provided that I get that opportunity to work for the mm -hmm. short period of time or the limited period kind of assignment uh, as I'm more over like a people person. So I'll tell you something specific about each country. So first I'll start with India because I'm born and I'm an Indian. So I learned a lot of things, like, you know, grown in different parts, like being in the urban, like, you know, rural areas while in the early phase of my life. And then after moved to the urban or the metro cities. So specific thing I learned is how to be a uh, competitive or hardworking. Um, that is the biggest thing that I learned in India. Mm -hmm. Along with other things like, you know, how to respect the older or elder people or something like that, because that is a lot more in India, even though person is just one year older than you, you do like, you know, respect that mm -hmm. person. When I was in New Zealand, actually, that was my first time being abroad by myself. So I'm the first girl from my entire family or extended mm -hmm. family to travel abroad before marriage. So quite fortunate because a lot, mm -hmm. lot of people like girls in India, they travel once they, their spouse travel and come mm. abroad. But in that way, I was quite fortunate compared to my other siblings that, you know, um, I got an opportunity to travel uh, before my marriage. And I'm definitely thankful to my family for that. So many things were new to me, actually, being by myself in abroad. And I enjoyed my stay a lot. But professional side, definitely, as I mentioned earlier, that I learned how to be disciplined and manage time effectively at workplace. Mm. Um, if you want to be like, you know, that kind of a person who uh, follows that kind of a routine where you have to meet the deadline, sometimes it is very useful quality, actually, when you have like a 
deadlines which i have to meet for the project deliveries mm-hmm. so yeah so that is something i learned and talking about united states that now i'm here so i came when i already had like you know a lot of work experience prior to it so i almost close to 8 years for industry experience and since i started working in it Uh, it was one of my dreams actually to come to united states so i never dreamed about any other country other than united states when i was working in india so what i learned even though india is diverse uh, i think india is diverse within their own country people so mm-hmm. there are different cultures regions languages but it is again tied up with the same country but when i came to united states i think i learned about diversity on much larger scale like mm. you know so many different countries people nationalities so i learned to be more diverse a uh, network talk to different people and while doing all that actually i also learned how to keep uh, my own individualism alongside mm. so it's okay to kind of you know adapt new culture but um, you don't have to forget your own culture from where you belong to and that is yeah. more important i guess so that is something about all these three countries so i think yeah. every country has a specific uh, place in my heart so yeah you're so right i think yeah it's important to know that no country or culture is better than the other every place has its pros and cons no place is perfect you know i've worked and traveled in 30 different countries you've been to several already and yeah like you said we can learn and gain things that are good to help us from all these places. So thanks so much Vishal. That was awesome. I learned some fun stuff. My friends, be sure to check out the other video we've made with Vishali about how to get into careers of artificial intelligence and data science. It's great great tips in there. And also she has her own podcast as well that goes deep into those topics. So we're going to have the links for our video together about data science, artificial intelligence and her podcast. Be sure to check those out. Uh, Vishali, thanks for hanging out and sharing, and this is going to be so helpful. Yeah, this was so much fun, Rob. So really, very really appreciate to share this side of me as well. That you know how it would be to work in different countries and what about their work cultures. So thank you so much for this opportunity, and really appreciate it. Yeah, I love discussing culture. And friends, be sure to come with us online on social media. Be subscribed to the newsletter. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Really appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you next time at Chine Coaching. Cheers. Yeah.